25-year-old woman presents to your clinic for a workup of elevated cholesterol levels, which were discovered during a routine physical examination. While you prepare to order several tests to check for genetic abnormalities that might explain her elevated cholesterol levels, she reveals that she has also been suffering from a generalized muscle cramping, scaly skin, hair loss, and chronic diarrhea over the past one month. When you probe further and learn that she has been on a fad diet for the past year that requires consumption of 25 raw eggs a day. So excessive consumption of raw eggs a day causes which vitamin deficiency? that requires consumption of 25 raw eggs a day and you begin to suspect that her health problems are related to a nutritional deficiency and you suggest her that she discontinue her fat diet. So here it is mainly because of uh, vitamin biotin. So the important etiology of the biotin deficiency more commonly, generally we can say, if you take out the raw X from the picture, the most common cause of the biotin deficiency is the long-term antibiotic use is the most common cause of the biotin deficiency. And it can also be due to increased ingestion of raw egg whites because the raw egg whites mainly contain a protein called as uh, avidin because this avidin is a protein which mainly interferes with the biotin digestion. So this is one of the second most common cause we can say for the biotin deficiency. And uh, other cause like uh, rarely it may also be due to long-term parental nutrition. So all these three are the important etiolog etiological manifestations of biotin deficiency. And if we talk about the functions, biotin is a cofactor for all the enzymes with the suffix called as carboxylase. Pyruvate carboxylase, propionyl CoA carboxylase, acetyl CoA carboxylase, all the carboxylase enzymes require biotin. What is a pyruvate carboxylase? Pyruvate carboxylase, if you remember, like gluconeogenesis, it is a rate limiting step of gluconeogenesis where the pyruvate is converted into oxaloacetate in the gluconeogenesis and it is a rate limiting step. It is dependent on the biotin. In the same way, propionyl CoA carboxylase, which is mainly involved in the R-chain fatty acid oxidation, that is breakdown of the propionyl CoA, which is the product of the beta oxidation of the fatty acid metabolism, mainly to the methyl melloyl CoA. And another enzyme, which is the acetyl CoA carboxylase, which is one of the very key enzyme and the rate regulating step where it converts the acetyl CoA into melanoyl CoA in the fatty acid biosynthesis. So these are the three important steps absolutely dependent on the biotin. But generally, biotin deficiency is rarely seen. If it is seen, it is mainly because of the long-term high antibiotic use. And second is because of the ingestion of the raw egg whites because it contains evidence is a protein that interferes with the biotin digestion. Even though it is rare, but the symptoms include uh, dermatitis, gastrointestinal upset. Two important symptoms what we can see. Dermatitis as well as gastrointestinal upset. So this is what is about uh, biotin deficiency.